been a while that people have realized a large language model especially when you want to use for a particular nlp task it is better that you fine tune it on certain instructions there are a lot of models are there and i think one of the successes of chat gpt is also because it uses instruct gpt which is a fine tuned instruction fine tuned version of gpt3 and along the same line facebook has decided to instruct fine tune its large language model the flagship model called opt so facebook has taken its opt and then done instruction fine tuning which is what they are calling instruction meta learning on a set of 2000 nlp tasks so they have fine tuned instruction the opt instruction version on a set of 2000 nlp instructions and uh, they have released such an benchmarks also called opt iml bench but what we are going to do in this video is we are going to see how to use opt ml on your nlp workflow like you can use it on google collab or for whatever task you want so now facebook has released or meta ai has released two kinds of model one is the opt iml trained on 1500 task so overall they trained it on 2000 task but they released two different version of the model one is with the one lesser task this one you can use for any downstream evaluation and the second one is the one that has been trained on entire 2000 task and they have released multiple versions of model so 1.3 billion parameter 30 billion parameter so 30 billion was quite hard to fit inside google collab given the size of the files so i'm using 1.3 billion i'm linking the hugging face model up link in the youtube description so you can directly check it out and i'll also link the google collab notebook for you to check it out so that's about the model uh, if you're interested in let me know i i would like to compare the benchmarks and scores of how this model stacks up with other models like instruct gpt and flan but for now opt iml is facebook's instruct gpt i mean it's it's equivalent of facebook's instruct gpt not in terms of performance but given that opt is facebook's flagship model just like how gpt is uh, open ai is flagship model so here they have released the instruction fine tuned version so now open the google collab notebook first to start with click run time select change run time and select gpu accelerator gpu would help you do things faster then the next thing is install transformers library while we are going to see the code we are going to see two different sides of the code one is how you usually can generate text using opt iml or you can do you know certain nlp task and the second one is i'm going to show you how you can just do it in three lines of python code like literally three lines of python code using hugging face pipeline first let's see the normal way the usual code we have got from transformers we like assuming that you have already installed transformers from transformers we are going to import auto model for causal lm and then we are going to import the auto tokenizer and then torch for torch encoding and decoding and now you are going to load the model first so when you load the model make sure that you want the data type to be float 16 and you move it to cuda so you have got the model which is uh, auto model for causal lm from pretrain and the model id which i was just showing you the 1.3 billion parameter the next thing is you have uh, the tokenizer at this point of making the video i was told that the use fast tokenizer the fast token tokenizer does not work properly so keep it false maybe while you are going to use this like when you are watching this video and doing it couple of days down the line couple of weeks down the line check it if the fast tokenizer works if it is works you can make it true so now we have got the model and we have got the tokenizer intact this will take a couple of minutes for it to download i think in my case it took about a minute after that you need to create a prompt i have created a very simple prompt which in this case is i'm giving a task so i'm defining it saying that in this task you need to identify the sentiment of a given sentence as one of positive or negative input and then output so this is like a prompt template like if you have been playing with chat gpt for a while you might be familiar with prompt engineering as a skill so here what we are trying to say is we are trying to tell the large language model that we are going to present it with a task in this case an nlp task and then the large language model has to identify as part of the task the sentiment of a given sentence where they have to select either positive or negative and then we are going to give the input which in this case is rife really sucks with poor salary i mean i think everybody would agree with this thing especially i would definitely agree 
and then we have got the output where we expect the output to be printed in the next line so this is our input prompt once we have the input prompt ready which is a string then the next thing is typical um, deep learning stuff so first you take the prompt you encode them like you you send it to the tokenizer uh, result the pytorch uh, like pytorch tensors and then get the input ids and move it to cuda and then you have got the model and using the model you're going to generate uh, with the input ids that you just got and from the generated id you are going to decode them and then you are going to got, uh, display the output and the output is ideally going to be a list so you access the first element and then you display it so let me run it for you when i run it for you you'll get to know like how much time it takes and all these things we ran it it didn't take a lot of time i'm going to just run it again it says life really sucks with poor salary is negative now let's give something positive okay ooh i got a great job with amazing salary which is not real but um, it's it's a video who cares now run it and it says it's positive let's try one more thing uh, i'm going to say this covid thing is negative most likely i assume that this would come up as positive sorry negative okay yeah because i i don't think this data set would have had covid what is covid let me say cancer maybe and see okay cancer thing is negative okay my cancer result is negative my cancer result is negative and let's see if it works or oh, no it doesn't so this is these are the cases where it actually doesn't do a really good job okay now instead of this task we can give a different task okay so i can say uh, given in this task you need to make simple arithmetic calculations given to numbers so i'm going to simply say 25 plus 20 22 plus 25 2 should be 45 technically i don't know if it does it didn't do it didn't do anything so let's try one more time or i can just simply give 23 plus 22 and i can remove everything else and then see what it does so 23 okay <laughs> it's this is hallucination this is what large language model hallucination is it just randomly threw some equation doesn't doesn't matter so this did not do well properly so let's try one more thing so i want to say give write write an essay about okay maybe write a tweet with hashtags about elon musk musk and let's see what it does uh, so it it just gave me hashtag um that's also because i have to probably increase the number of output tokens okay it works uh, i would let you try all these different things because my duty is to show you how to do and you are you are actually going to expo explore this and then make more things amazing things i'm going to stop this here the next thing is i'm going to show you like i said i promised at the start that i'm going to show you the easiest like the, probably the easiest way to generate text using the same model optml just three lines of python code just three lines of python code how is it it's very simple you're going to from transformers import pipeline first you're going to import pipeline the next thing is you're going to create a text generation pipeline facebook the same model link and mind you all this is happening on the free tier of google collab like which means i don't have excessive gpu i don't have lot of ram so whatever google collab gives me for free it's basically that that particular gpu and uh, pipeline text generation and model we have got and uh, next thing is you can click generate and uh, let's see what happens did i did i actually load i think i loaded it so i'm going to say what is the capital of usa and this is going to be my generator output and zero i think device i should device equals zero i don't know if that has that should ideally have an impact because now we'll move the model to cuda which is gpu and once that loads when we run this thing ideally it should take more time like a uh, faster time you can see when we ran it on cpu it took about like 5 seconds so now okay my session crashed oh that's a shame 
that's actually a shame because i think i had a lot of things maybe let me run it only now i'm not going to download this model let me install transformers so this is this is in real time you can see that how messier my code became and i'm going to just load this model so ram is at a controllable level disk space is within controllable level so we're going to download the model and then move it to cuda which is um, in this case gpu and after it moves we are going to use this generator object that we just created and we are going to send the input text inside this as an argument and then the result is going to come and then the result is going to be a list the first element is what we want and then from that we are going to extract the generated the model has been successfully downloaded at this point as you can see and then also we have hit the orange color in the ram but let's generate the text what is the capital of the united states and uh, let's see whether it takes a lot of time it, it didn't take like i think in the cpu it took about five seconds now it has taken about three seconds not a huge difference what is the capital of USA, Washington? I'm going to say, what is the capital of India? Let's see if, okay, New Delhi is the capital of India. And uh, I'm going to say, given, given a text, you need to, um, sh you need to extract named entities. Okay, so what is that named entities like place, numbers name okay on the input text that we want to give is input i'm going to make it a doc string input could should be this um america is a really expensive place i'm going to give output and let's see what happens so you can see it says just output. Uh, that's also because uh, the input length I had exceeded the output length. So I'm going to change my max length to maybe 50 and then let's generate. Okay, it still sticks to America. Mm, I think it has extracted place. So let's say given a text, you need to extract named entities like place. Okay, so it's probably trying to extract place. I'm going to say America and India are really expensive places. And then let's see what does. It still does America. So again, once again, it's, it's, it's an activity for yourself to play with. I've increased the max length. It still sticks to the same thing. So which means something is not correct what I'm doing. But this is how you access the model. I'm not here to fix every single bug that might occur. But this is how you access the model. So what we have done in this video is in this video we learned about OPT IML. We also learned that OPT IML has been released at, at to multiple different levels, different parameters. Um, and we have created a Google Colab notebook where we have learned how to use OPT IML using the usual way and also using Hugging Face pipeline. If you have got any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, all the required links will be in the YouTube description. I hope you enjoyed this video and learning something new about a new large language model that's quite similar in nature, at least in nature. It's an instruction model, fine-tuned instruction model. I don't think it has got any reinforcement learning like how Instruct GPT has got, but we have got an Instruct fine-tuned model from Facebook, which is OPTML. See you in the next video. Happy prompting.